Hello and welcome to this C Sharp tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to create this calculator in C Sharp. It takes two numbers uh, and asks you what you want to do with them. Uh, you can add, subtract, divide or multiply. Uh, so if I type in 5 to start with, uh, this is actually what we're going to be making uh, in about 10 minutes or so. Um, and let's add them together. So we've got 5 plus 10 equals 15, which is correct. So we want to go straight in. I'm using Visual Studios here. You can grab this free from Microsoft's website. Um, and I'm just going to create a console application. I'm going to call it console application 1 because um, I'm going to delete it once I've done it. As I have it saved elsewhere already. Uh, when you first start it up, this is what you'll get. The basic structure for a uh, C-sharp program. Uh, we're going to do everything in the main. Uh, we're going to need to declare two variables for numbers. So int number one and number two. Uh, underneath, I'm going to just do a console out. Console right line, uh, just to say uh, what this program is sort of going to do. So it's going to input to numbers and perform and operation. Uh, so that's just basically a title for the program. Uh, then we're going to do a console write. The uh, difference between write line is that it does it on its own separate line and write will uh, allow us um, to put inputs at the end. I'll, I'll show you it all at the end. Uh, so first of all we're going to enter in our first number. Uh, basically if this was a right line it would the input would be underneath um, which we don't want, we want it at the end so we're going to use right. Uh, and we're going to assign number one uh, is going to equal convert. We need to convert the input uh, as the input is given in a string uh, but obviously number one is an int. So I'm just going to convert it to an int32 for simpleness. Um, and to get the input we use console. Uh, it's not showing up. Console.read line. And a semicolon at the end if I stop deleting things. <laughs> um, and then we're also going to do the same for the next one. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. Uh, change that to second and change that to number two so that's got our first input our first two inputs uh, next we need to write out an option for what the user wants to be able to perform on these two numbers um, so console dot write line this time and choose an option from the list below. Uh, and then we're going to put all the lists, all the items in. So console.write line. Uh, first of all, I'm going to put a, I'm going to tab it along one, uh, as you saw. So I'm going to be using the escape character backslash T. Uh, that is basically um, makes the text tab along, it puts a tab in um, in the text. So one option one is going to be addition, uh, and then I'm just going to copy this four times because we are having four options. One, two, three, four, and subtract, multiply, and division. And then underneath, I'm just going to put a console dot write option. So this will be where the user will write that option. Um, then underneath, I'm going to need a switch statement. Uh, I'm going to use a switch statement here because it's the simplest one. We could use if and else, um, but a switch is the most appropriate here. Um, so 
switch statements, uh, take an input and pick the correct case that will correspond. Uh, so I'm going to put as a condition on here, or the, the variable that will be uh, compared against, is our read line. So whatever the user writes into the console screen uh, will get put into the switch. Uh, and we need four cases. Um, so there'd be case one. Uh, remember they're strings, so we have to use the uh, string here, which is in apostrophes. We're also going to want case. Uh, so I was going to case right. Uh, case two. Uh, then we're going to want case three. And case four. Uh, there is also a default. So if the user say enters uh, zero or minus or a minus number or uh, uh, one billion, uh, the default will be picked. Uh, this is useful for error checking and stuff. I'll get to that in a moment. So in case one is addition, so we're going to do a console dot write line result of, and we're using plus here for concatenation uh, number one, so we can pass in the number uh, which the user gave us earlier on, then add it again to the string do another plus. There's lots of pluses here. Uh, number is, and then again, final one. Uh, this is where we will type in our actual answer. So number one plus number two. Uh, and the result of that bit here will be printed in the string, which is the result of the calculation the user has requested. Um, and underneath, because switch statements, they can fall through, so whatever we've got in case 1 uh, could fall through to case 2, 3, 4 as well, uh, we need to break out of the switch statement, so we just type in break. Uh, because this is pretty much the same for the next 3, I'm just going to copy and paste that in, and just change this, so the number of that minus the number of that times, the number of that divide. In programming, this star denotes times and uh, forward slash denotes uh, dividing. Uh, again, we're just going to alter the calculations so we get the right answer. And in default, we are going to type in console.write line. Sorry, you entered an invalid option. And then we also need a break there. To be honest, if that's at the end, it doesn't. it's going to break out anyway, so I don't know why they require it. Uh, but I think it's just for, because it just has to follow the rules. Um, so that is pretty much the program. If we run this now, by pressing Control F5, uh, we can say input the numbers and perform a, uh, an operation. So again, if we type in, let's type some different numbers in. So uh, 10 and 6. Uh, what would we like to do? Uh, if we time some together, we should get 60, and we do. Uh, just to show you the default quickly. So if I typed in uh, two more random numbers. Uh, but then typed in an option of uh, minus 45. Sorry, you've entered an invalid number, uh, invalid option. So again, that's a little bit of error checking um, and it stops the program from breaking too much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you again later.